Um, okay, and this is weird. I've heard con conflicting stories about this. Uh, Styx Axenhammer 666, who I've made fun of repeatedly for always avoiding real solutions to problems and only instead sucking up to random centralized companies trying to get affiliate deals so he can make money. And um, actually, this isn't even the, the most schizophrenic tweet that he put out. Hopefully, the, is this one up here? Oh, here, this. Sticks put out a tweet saying, there's one dude who is about to suffer a thousand problems. Hey there, fuck stain. You should not have messed with someone like me. I don't care if you deal drugs. I'll fucking have the mafia deal with you if I need to. Fuck yourself. Like put out really, 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 really bizarre messages. Um, he was tweet like opening opening videos from him in a dark fucking room. And apparently what he has done is that he's moved into um back to the US. Uh, and he says, you know, many people online speculating about my sudden return to the US, etc. My private life is private, speculate all you want, lol. He if you don't remember, because I haven't talked about him in a in a while, because he's extremely forgettable. Um he was somebody that I took issue with because he was someone I, I wanted to like who had a, a moderate amount of influence. And instead of promoting any like real platform that had any real chance of undoing the power structure of the Internet, he would just hop from dick to dick. He would suck up to bit shoot and then he'd suck up to mines and then he would suck up to rumble. Rumble did take off, but he would just like continually try to prop up alt tech that at the time before rumble had no chance of succeeding because he didn't care about a solution to a problem. He cared about finding somebody who could potentially give him kickbacks for promoting their platform, uh, which is eventually what he found with, uh, with rumble. Um, but, uh, he had left the United States. So he was like a, a American politics commentator that left the United States and he got married to like a Dutch woman and was living in the Netherlands. And eventually like, kind of kicking around the idea of coming back to the U S but never did. And then suddenly out of nowhere, he shows up at, at the U S starts publishing videos of himself in dark rooms, ranting, putting up vague tweets about sicking the mafia on drug dealers. And then someone noticed that, um, so, and while doing all this vague posting and attention whoring, like a fucking child, he says, there are many people online speculating about my sudden return to the U S my private life is private speculate all you want. LOL. Like you put all this shit out there. How can you complain that people are speculating about your private life when you've made it public and are just like being very vague about it? Uh, but he did, he found he's a fucking retard. So he found an issue with anything. Um, and then, uh, someone pointed out that his wife's, oh, I fucked that up. His wife's YouTube channel, um, has had all recent videos removed it doesn't have any content actually so four years of content has just disappeared and they say that they can't see his wedding ring on in any videos and so it appears that he had a really sudden breakup uh, perhaps he lost his girlfriend to a drug dealer or something and now is threatening to sick the mafia on him in public from twitter uh this is what sticks sh shekel clanker six million <laughs> It is up to these days. Um, I don't know. Maybe you should have posted to the Fediverse. Fucking loser. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.